Hey Stampers, Gator again, and I'm coming back with a little make uh, a calendar and a little post-it note holder. Maybe I could have backed that on some cardstock. Maybe I will. Let's see what I've got in my. I've got some. Oh, there we go. I've got a little cube of my berry burst. This is three by three. Let's see if I've got enough to make two. I doubt that, but no, this is five. So let's do three and a quarter by three and a quarter I don't think I've got enough there but I will do some I'll grab another one and I'll do one in a very vanilla so let's do because it with this one I backed it with very vanilla as you can see inside because I didn't really want to use way too much but on this one I found a spare piece of uh, my berry birth perfect they will go for sentiments I forgot to ask Mr B if he'll cut my pencils in half when, with this one it's got a little highlighter pen these are so cute I'm going to show you look these are for, like, say, it's my sister's birthday was the 10th. And my nephew's, her son's birthday is on the 24th. So I've popped a little highlighter in. To mark on the calendar. And I've got a little half pencil. I chopped this one in half, but it broke. So I had to, I had to, um... So I'm going to get Mr. B to chop them in half and then I can sharpen them properly. So let's get my little... Ooh. I was having a bottle man malfunction. It was hitting a hair, po hair pocket. And it was doing my head in because none of the glue would come out. And when it did, it just clogged up. And oh, I must have had a wicked air pocket. Look, it's doing it now. I'm having to tip it back up. It keeps it in a air pocket. And then my glue won't come out. So let's pop this. Just giving it a tiny little border all the way around. And it just looks a little bit more. You can do them exactly the same. You can do them three by three as the notepads are. But then that fits in there. I made mine slightly wider to fit my highlighter pen. And my half little pencil for writing on the notepad. You can fold these to pop them. They will fit in an um, envelope. Which one is it now? The, is it the D5s or the D6s? I can't remember. Let me get one. Oh, let me stretch. But it will be tight. It will fit in there. But because you've got a lot of bulk there, you may have to tape it down. But what I was thinking of craft fair ideas. Where's my cellophane bag gone? there it is once you've finished i've got some these are a a5 cello bags for a5 cards you can pop this inside a cello bag fold it up and glue it from the bottom and then put yourself some chocolates down the side and then a nice topper and you could sell them at craft fairs with some little chocolates inside maybe even some little tea lights running up the side as well to put at the side you know somebody's got a nice little telephone desk your little calendar with a notepad to give you the date your little notepad and maybe some little tea lights burning and then put a nice bag topper on there but look at this trust in the lord with all your heart absolutely beautiful sentiment and like i'm saying i use cream cardstock at the back but it comes the stamp is comes from this new one easter lilies you've got trust in the lord with all your heart he is risen peace i give unto you and god is good and then you've got these beautiful lilies it comes with dyes but i didn't buy the dyes and the shape on the front is from the old um hippo and hippo the hippo friends label dies and it's uh 
this middle one to that so beautiful and it fits on the front of this beautiful so i've got my pieces um i made another desk one but i haven't decorated it properly yet i made this i went to get to the range to buy my little mini i had to buy these online to get my mini calendars because i normally normally sell them in the range but they've got one and i bought it and i thought well, that's big and they were just individual cards and they're really thick so what i did i've made a little desktop with my little ring pulleys maybe i should adjust them or buy smaller ones at least but instead of doing 12 i only did six cards so you can flick this over january february march april may and june and then all you've got to do is twist it round and then you're on the back july august right the way back to january and then when you're done you can literally either buy a new calendar just glue it on top and you've got a perpetual little this is made out of one of the backings of the dsp but i will make a better one and put my rings i didn't decorate till after so i didn't do the ring part but i'm coming up with all sorts of little craft fair ideas as well so we've got our piece now for the post-it notes which i bought online because i haven't been able to get the shop because we've had, we're having some work done so these are proper comes in packs of a hundred oh it's got my little stamp set got my dies there's the die we're going to be using i am going to stamp and then die cut it's not quite wide enough my card start i could use that one would be oh there we go let's uh let's do it in very vanilla put the lid back on my glue oh in fact let's glue this on my pad with these ones they've got a sheet on the back so when this runs out you can just glue another sticky note pad on top of this one and if you don't have the calendar because it's there uh, just glue a new calendar on see just don't want to come out i'm having air pocket issues i clean the bottle i've cleaned the nozzle and it still does not want to come out that's better no it's not it's doing it again look it doesn't want to come out right we'll get that i've got all the measurements written down i'll hold up the measurements in a moment so and like I'm saying, if you want a nice, cute little border wall, oh, look at that, beautifully placed. You can stamp a little message. So that's ready to go inside. That's ready for our sentiment. Let me put my, I've added extra tape all the way round. It does come with this roll of tape, but I've added extra. And I'll probably add a little bit of glue as well. These are my card pieces this is for the little box on the front and these are for the stand and out of one sheet of not one sheet one cut this is cut at three and seven eighths by 12 and you get one two you get three pieces i cut this one from another in fact let me put this together is that 12 yeah so you get this tiny little strip left over and what i did with my other one i just glued it on to break it up a little bit so this is my other piece and i'm going to glue that across there just so we're not wasting and it breaks up so that's one run through you get two maybe three calendars off one sheet of designer series paper but two are the same size uh, once I'll show you the measurements now actually let's pop that to one side right I'm going to hold it like that because uh, there's a, another diagram underneath but if I hold that 
you've got cardstock one at four by nine and a half one at four by six and a half one at five by seven and the cut the scoring are there the nine and a half by four is six and a half seven and a half eight and a half eight and a half and nine and the one by five by seven is half an inch and four and a half inches on the short side and four and four and a half inches on the long side and then these are the measurements for the designer series paper one at three and seven eighths by three two at three and seven eighths by two and three eighths and one at three and seven eighths by six and three eighths you don't have to decorate the back i decorate the back it looks pretty you can leave it plain if you want to to save on even more designer series paper so let's get my little pencils out of the way and get mr boyce to cut them down for me with his uh, electrical saw <laughs> so we don't need to cut this piece we do on other hand need to score on the short side half an inch and four and a half or you can just spin it round and do half inch either side and then I'm going to open this out and we're going to score this at four inches and four and a half this section then is going to be the bottom but what you want to do now is go back in and score it one and a half just to the score line and I'm going to flick it over and score again one and a half it just gives me a little space so that's that one done and then our long one is so simple you're going to score this at six and a half seven and a half eight and a half and nine and I haven't cut my cardstock down look you can see this needs to be nine and a half by six so let's cut that down Dana I thought you prepped everything last I thought so too <laughs> so I put in my score lines at the bottom so nine and a half our last score line was at nine so you've got this we're going to use some flowers so I'm going to cut those out so what we're going to do is we're going to fold this up the, this is the first score line at six and a half. Seven and a half is going to go back the opposite way and then the eight and a half is coming I think there's something wrong there is that something Hey, again has done something a little bit wrong no I've cut it down not long enough or look too long oh girls and boys right nine and a half that's right have I cut this down have I scored wrong then now six and a half seven and a half seven and a half eight and a half perhaps that oh no it needs to be nine inches long not nine and a half okay i knew i'd done something wrong so right right there one two that should be half an inch one two half yes right get okay. you need it like that <laughs> Because that's going to attach to the back there of our card. And what I did, I didn't do a score line at the top. I'm literally just going to glue a very small edge to keep it together instead of having another flap. Let me show you on this one. I've literally just glued the top. So it doesn't open all the way up. It just gives it a bit more stability. So let me show you that again and cross off the half an inch. And take off that because we need to score at six and a half, seven and a half, and eight and a half, leaving us half an inch 
That's right. <laughs> he will get there in the end. Oh, perhaps I should have done a second round. Right, while we're here, this is my two top pieces. I am going to round the corners off. And I'm losing little bits out of the corner. Whoops. Okay, it's getting everywhere. So cut the corners. Now on our little box where these two little one and a half inches are, we're going to cut and cut away the score line. And then down the score line so it neatens it off. So we're taking that off on both sides. So nip off the score line. And then nip off that score line. Perfect. And then I'm going to fold the sides in just so I can round them corners off as well. Just to neaten everything up. Perfect. We're going to need our little scissors again. And we're just going to nip, nip. nip and nip what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold these two back and i'm just going to take a tiny little slither off the end because we're going to hide these tabs i'm just making them a little bit shorter so they don't stick out then we're going to fold along our score line And then what we're going to do, we're going to fold this one in. This one then is going to come in the outside. Oh, I'm going to take away, I'm going to cut into them. I'm going to mitre that side, just where this top end is, mitre the top. Just so it sits, so it sits better, like so. Let me cross that over. The other side you won't see because it's going to come over and tuck away that way there's nothing incurring in the sides there so i'm going to trim that one you can do both sides if you want to but you don't need to you just need to do the one that's come by the top end of the flap so let me get my glue out again let's hope it holds this time no need to put glue on this one unless you want to you can put a tiny little dot on there just to hold it in place but I wouldn't do that until you glue your side and my side does not want to glue there we go so we're tucking our little flap inside those two we've got a lovely nice straight little edge and then pop your bone fold. We haven't closed this side yet. So again, that's going to fold in. That's going to fold over. And we've got nothing down the sides. It's just going to crease. Make sure that gives me a beautiful soft edge. So you can add the tiniest little dot if you want. You don't have to. Because we're going to glue this shut. So if you want to do it for peace of mind, go for it. Edge that piece right up against there, right along that back piece. And then again, get your bone folder in there or your finger if you can do it. Just to squash that down, but you might push it open like I've just done. So, again, has done that a bit wrong. I've done a wee bit of a mercy. I'm just going to crush that down. But make sure that line's... See, I've made a bit of a boo-boo. It's coming out. Because I shoved my finger in instead. So use your bone folder. It's narrower. 
it's not going to make a huge difference but to me i need that this piece of cardboard running along that back score line but it's still going to give me a nice now with our two pieces we're literally going to just add glue i might add some tape on mine actually just to add a bit of tape and a bit of glue to make sure it doesn't come apart you can use tear and tape i'm just using my crafters tape because i am going to use a bit of glue as well give me a bit of wiggle space I'm going to fold those back and fold this over. Keep my finger on it. And a squidgy little bit of glue. Obviously, don't glue where you've just corn around it. Tip it over. And you're going to line those two edges up. Oh, look at that. Perfect. And if you want to keep it in place just for a sec, add yourself some clips just for a minute because the art glitter glue goes off brilliant now my two card pieces are matched up at the top I'm just gonna literally run a tiny bead of glue just along the edge because it doesn't need to open up I know they're lined up because we've got them pinned at the bottom it's not like it's going to have anything tucked inside. So I'm going to leave that closed just for... Oh, look at that. I've got a bit of oozing. I'm going to take this piece. And it's non-directional. So thankfully, I'm going to clip off the corners again and that will go on there beautiful small borders beautiful 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 so this is going to be my back piece and I'm just holding it in place still waiting for that to go off now our little box I ended up putting the, the different piece and add the front the two front pieces and the back the same and then this went inside here and again I'm going to round the corners off I mean you can do this while your box is uh, unmade before you glue the sides on but it's not like it's a huge piece and my battery's died oh that's a bit silly could I swore I had a full battery in there I had three bars when I put it when I pressed uh, play. Press play when I switched it on. Sorry about that, girls. Always me not concentrating. I haven't recorded anything in two weeks. Even though you won't see a break, I had a few projects already ready for you to all to watch. So I'm just going to slide that in. Keep my pattern paper with a nice tiny little border and you don't have to go all the way down to the bottom because nobody's going to see it anyway we've got our little post-it note and that's going to slide how cute are that and look at these cute little pens i bought i got a pack of 12 is it two four six yeah i've used um one on here and i'm going to be showing how to make these cute little purse ones this one's got a little pocket inside so if somebody gives you a note or a phone number you can and you need to get to another sheet tear it off tuck it in your little pocket pop your pen back in your holder and then pop it back in your purse i'll show those and we've got normal ones as well without pockets oh no i've done a little corner pocket on this one as well look but uh, these i had these off amazon and they cost me like six pound for 12 so i'm gonna go with purple to match my little purple notepad and it fits in there beautiful with a clip over the edge 
but I need to add my paper. Uh, I don't need to cut the corners off that. I mean, if you want to do tiny little sides, you can, but I think it's going to look just as pretty with or without those sides on. Isn't that cute? Now this piece, now let's glue, because this is already now on there. So you, you decide which is front and back. I'm just going to glue this piece on. And this is our back piece. Push that down. And this is six and a half inches overall in height and four inches wide. Now we're going to have to round our other piece off. And then this is going on the front because when our box gets glued on you're not going to see it all the way down so you only need a small piece of paper look at it, there's no wanting to come out <laughs> it's been a nightmare no it does not, What it does not like me so let me get my berry glue out I'm having right problems. Perhaps, mind you, I'm saying that. It's about four year old, that glue. They give them a 12 month life expectancy. The glue's fine. It just still sticks everything on. It's just it wants to clog up my nozzle for some reason. So let's line this gorgeous paper up. I wasn't going to buy this when I first saw it online. I was like, no, I've got enough floral papers, but it's actually very beautiful. So what I'm going to do before I add this, I'm going to add that little strip just across there. It just breaks it up a little bit because it's the back of the little piece that we cut off to get our other three pieces. And we don't like waste, do we girls? So let's just add it anywhere and everywhere. You could also add that little strip there. Let me just mush that there. Um, on the top of where I'm going to rip this now, because the, it's not the strongest. Has it got a perforated edge now? I'm going to keep my finger. I'm going back. Let me use the end of my ruler just along that cotton because for some reason they're not the best perforated edges. That helped me to tear that off without my cotton coming undone. I did it with the other one and the cotton come undone. So, wherever you're getting them from, this little piece of paper now. You could have put that little strip across there to and just glued the top just across there to hide the perforation, but it's up to you. You don't have to. Um, right, let's get some tape on the back of here. Now I've got this one inch stuff. Grab my block. Whoop. And I'm just going to add some more in the middle. And another piece just at the top. This, this is not coming off. Perfect. I'm going to pop my post-it note back in just so I can press on the backs. Beautiful. I am going to add a little bit of glue as well. Put 
in and back. Perfect. So, and I'm just going to... Just gives me a bit of wiggle space and I can glue in between where my tape isn't been. Perfect. And then this is going to get glued right on the edge of this flap. Giving me wiggle space. Just to get that lined up. Perfect. Now I can uh, squash in my bone folder. And pop in my little notepad. Then I'm going to peel back all the tape. sticking to my finger I mean even if you're left with the last page you can attach a new diary I was going to say calendar next year oh I've got all these tiny little bits let me get my poker tool Stick it to me, not the... I added plenty because I don't want it coming off. There we go. Wow, I did have a lot of tape. <laughs> Best to be glued on proper than not on at all. And this now just sits about an eighth of an inch so I'm going to line that up in the middle and I'm going to press that down that is not coming off there and look it stands up beautiful so I'm going to take my little highlighter pen I'm going to steal this little pencil out of here until Mr. Boys cuts my others down you've got plenty of spec you've got your notepad You've got your highlighter, you've got your pencil. I also bought today, if you want to add these little biros, look, instead of having a pencil, I've got a little biro. This is a ballpoint pen. So, oh, look, it's purple. Oh, that's nice. I don't think the purple will go with the purple pad, but I'll stick it in there just for colour. But look how cute they are. You've got a pencil, you've got a highlighter, you've got a pen, you've got your notepad, your calendar. I love these. I'm going to pop my, set. oh, I've got a piece here. I've got my little flower punch, which is the small blossoms. Pop myself a couple of those out. I've got my stylus. Let me just put my ink away for a minute because that is oozing out. Amazing, I've had air pockets in both of them. Two seconds, ladies. So I'm going to stand that up there for a minute. I find my styluses, big ball ones, just to break down the flower. Or the cardboard and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm just going to press in the center oh, I've got itchy legs and again I'm going to turn it over and just pop it In the center I've got my well I did have glue dots somewhere they are and I've just found my tear tape so 
take a glue dot just pop one I'm going to put that one on the top in the center and I'm going to offset it that flower pokey 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 I've got my black gems and I'm going to put a small one in this time I'll put a large one in the other one and it looked a little bit too big for the size on the flower that's better so I'm going to pop that to one side Dina's got the dropsies. Now I'm going to fetch in my black. I love this black ink. And I've offset my stamp. And I'm just going to line this up in the middle this time because it's big enough piece. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I've got then a brand new cloth. But wherever I can find it, there you go. I got my chamois. I found my chamois as well. Plus older cloth. Perfect. And should be able to cut this one out of my little one trust the Lord with all your heart oh I love that and because the other two are too big or too small Got a bit of sticky on there. Oh, why does that do that? There we go. That's got it. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. So I won. I don't have the berry burst in the blends. So I fetch my blackberry bliss because I did the same with this one. And I just held my pen around the edge. There is a little groove on this, but I just I just went around the outside. You don't have to be perfect. You can go over it a couple of times, I suppose. Just to darken the edges. And it was just a way of giving me that little highlight around the outside. Now tilt your pen towards you a little bit and you get a bit of a wider finish if I do it and you get a thin one so tilt the pen towards you and it covers the paper a little bit more look at that isn't that beautiful absolutely stunning I'll put that back with my hip on guys Grab my beautiful pop some dimensionals on. You don't need a lot, four will be plenty because it's not like it's uh, going to be moving around too much. Take off those back ends. And then this is going to get adhered just on there. And it fits on. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So, I've got my styluses. I found them in the drawer while I was sorting some stuff out. I got my little tiny flower. Gonna put a tiny little blob of glue. I could use a glue dot, but I prefer my art glitter glue. It does stick. And I'm just gonna pop that 
just that side oh absolutely beautiful and it if i can't am i zoomed out ah oh, yes i am and it stands up on somebody's desk absolutely beautiful look at that action and again it can be closed flat to be put in a cello bag so you can sell them at craft fairs here's the one with the white back well very vanilla and this is the one full card stuck they are absolutely beautiful i hope you like them hope you give them a go you can get some wink of stella on your flower just add a bit of sparkle you know me girls i'm a wink of stella girl i used to do it all the time So this one's got the bigger stamen on. Oh, absolutely. So they're uh, basic white, very vanilla. I think they both look beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Love them. I hope you give them a try. I love these little mini pens. I do like the little pencil as well. So there we go. There is my version this time of a little desktop calendar and note. Uh, sticky note holder these I got off Amazon as well I think there's 10 is there yeah pack of 10 it's supposed to be ultra smooth ink it says ballpoint stylo pens made by paper mate oh and they were only seven pound one two three four five six seven yeah ten in those I don't know if it's supposed to be smelly or not. Let me just have a look. No, they're not. <laughs> but I wouldn't... I, I may put a green pen. Because there's green on there to map. So that would show up on my little sticky note then. But isn't that cute? Love it. Love these little highlighter pens. Absolutely gorgeous. I think they are literally three and a half inches long. So cute. So Amazon for those. Amazon for those. And I have these off Amazon, but you can get them out. You can get these from if you're in America, you get them from the Dollar Tree Silverly. I've never been to one in my life. I'd love to go to one. Uh, I'll have to try our pound shop as it's called or pound stretchers but you can use the highlighter to mark off dates on your calendar give it to a friend they make great teacher gifts for kids that are going back to school after the Christmas holidays you can give them before the holidays if you can get your calendars early but these will all rip off get down to the back pages blank so you just finish that one and add a new calendar and add yourself a new sticky note and they'll last for ages so there we go pop them in a cello bag with some tea lights or some hand lotion seal from the bottom put a topper on the top and sell them at craft first but uh yeah i love love doing things like this and i will be doing mine for a charity so i'll make a few of these i think I've got five calendars, but I'll need to order some more because I've got 12 pens, 12 high, uh, 10 pens, 12 highlighters, and I've got enough to cut another two, four, six pencils down. So I will do it until all my supplies run out. But there we go. I just thought I'd get it in early as well. Shift a few videos around so you see it soon. <laughs> but I hope you've enjoyed. Love a thumbs up and a share. That'd be amazing. Come back on the next video and see what we do. Till then, all glory to our great Lord and Saviour who gives us these talents to share with you lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. Be nice to each other and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.